Hello, Monsters Abound here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires and a brand new campaign. I did threaten it as a... It's actually Colex Sun Eater, but never mind. That's right, Colex Sun Eater. Colex Sun Eater is about to make you his bitch, by which, of course, I'm referring to the Die Katana ad by John Romeo, where they had so much money and didn't know what to do with it, so they made a really bad ad that kind of annoyed people, and then an even worse game. So that was fun. Anyway, John Romeo is a lovely man. So, 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 Colex, Colex traits, the one which we're, we're mostly looking at here, is the empowered by worship. So Colex gains additional weapon strength, mass, and armor for every vassal he has. That means we are going to vassalize the shit out of everyone. That's right. Oh, it's going to be so good. Also, he gets bigger, apparently, on the, on the campaign map and the normal map. When he gets like 1% additional increase in size, I believe. Unless they've changed that. I don't know. Anyway, Colex's actual traits, if we're going to have a look at it, is a mountain god, because he is the, the like, the old, I think he's the, is he the oldest sh dragon shagoth? Dragon ogre shag, he's, it's like a dragon ogre, isn't he? And he's the, he's the biggest boy. He's so old, he's older than when the, he's, he's so old, he was here before the old ones turned up. That's how old he is. He is, like, older than a slan, he's one of the oldest things in the entire world. And he's fucking here, baby. So he gets uh, less soul costs for Carnage Incarnate. He gets less upkeep for Dragon Ogres and Dragon Ogre Shagos. And also Missile Resistance for all Chaos Monstrous Infantry. Which is nice. Uh, so we're probably going to be aiming for getting a load of those. We're going to have a big old menagerie of death. Because I do enjoy that. We've also got Chance. Well, my thine will... Uh, what? What? Hang on. What, what are you? You've got, you've got a third eye of Zinch. So you give more Zinch authority... And let's so we could we could make you a Zinch boy. It's kind of erring towards that, isn't it? I mean, it was in, it was either Zinch or Sinesh, and I'm gonna be honest. Well, we could we could also just go, you know, pure pure metal, couldn't we? Fires of change. Okay, you get Eldritch Aura. I do like this. The Boons of Chaos are really nice. We're in a battle against any demonic demon race. But actually, that's you know what? Early on, probably quite possible. Later on, a little bit tricky. Since they're mostly all dead. Chaos exactly right. So we're gonna put Chant in the army. And then Kolek is going to kick the shit out of Zok. Get him, Kolek. Of course, first battle of a brand new campaign. Smells of... Like, does lightning have a smell? I guess, like, burning ozone. It smells like that. I'm not entirely sure. That, that gets referenced a lot in, in 40k. Ah, oh, the smell of burning ozone. And I don't think I've ever actually smelt burnt ozone, but... I guess you'd know it when you smell it. A bit like weed. This first battle's not going to be particularly difficult. Some of the first battles are actually quite rough. Uh, this one is going to be a piece of piss, because we're up against a couple of Ogre Bulls who, I'm going to be honest, Kolek could probably solo this army himself. It is not going to be tricky. Although, the only slight problem is going to be this guy here. Have you noticed how, like, the first battles, for some reason, the general seems to be a real pain in the ass to break? Like, they're, they're hard enough to kill this early on anyway. But then, they just seem to stick around forever. I remember the the Kuga, um first battle, where you, you're fighting, I think it's dwarves. And he just, he, you, that Dwarf Lord just won't break. He'll just sit there forever. You just have to pummel him with your army for about two minutes before he decides that he's gonna, gonna leg it. So the Doggo's coming in from behind. Ah, oh, I do like my Doggo's. They're so good at chasing down enemies. Look at this. It's just great. Slightly squishy units, like these Ogre Balls, who are, let's face it, slightly squishy. Can easily be surrounded by the Doggo's and just ripped to pieces. So, the enemy army has been dispatched, apart from the enemy general, who, of course, is getting wailed on by Kolek. He'll die eventually. Kolek is an absolute monstrous bastard. Let's go and get our first home, shall we? What the arm? Okay, what does that do? Armor of damnation. What armor and damage resistance? Okay. 
And we're going to get, what? Well, okay, what skills? So he gets Lord of Storm, so he can cast lightning on people, because, you know. Storm Rage, which gives Storm Rage, so that gives them ability. And we've also Tempest Rage, which gives him a bit of ability. We also get Moving Mountain, so it increases his unit mass and also weapon strength during siege battles. Toughened Skin, which gives armor and magic resistance. We also get uh, Giant Killer, so more weapon strength and bonus first large. Seismic Shock, so it enables Dazed. And also gets more charge bonus for Dragon Ogres and Dragon Ogre Shagos. So we also get Unearthly and Anomalous. More campaign movement range and replenishment. And then we get the Sun Eater, which is going to make him demonic, which is a terrible thing to do. I mean, you do get more undivided authority and enemy leadership reduction, I guess. But you also makes you demonic, which means if you get sad, you just die. Which, of course, is a massive downside. So that I'm, I'm kind of like... Is the enemy leadership worth it compared to just Colec disintegrating if he gets sad rather than just running away? And um not entirely sure. Anyway, I'm immediately going to give Colec more weapon strength because... Oh, hello. Can we... we pro oh, we can... We can just recruit more guys because that's how Chaos Warriors work better than... Than fucking Kugath who recruits his... Who, Kugath can only recruit units on, on a cycle and also um, like it's not even a percentage chance. So you get 26, 20 and 20%. You might think, oh, that's quite low. Yeah, but on, on a turn, that means probably like every four turns you're going to get one of these compared to how many turns, like around about four turns you need to get another unit for, for Kugath. Not to mention like the higher end units, which might only come around every 20 odd turns. Also, when you recruit things as Kolek, his units come in really damaged, and the Chaos Warriors just get... I, I don't understand why they've made Kugas so bad in comparison to, like, the Chaos Warriors. It seems weird. Anyway, so we're going to kill the, the these guys so we can have the Challenge Stone. That's going to give us our first vassal. Very exciting. First of many. I put these guys into, like, a group march, but for some reason... The Dragon Ogres are lagging behind. All the units should move at the same speed, so they should move as fast as the Marauders. But these guys do not seem to be moving. See, the Marauders are slowly overtaking them, and the entire army is going to have to wait for the Dragon Ogres to actually catch up, which is a bit weird. Just something I noticed. Oh well. The Marauders are... What I, pro I mean, eventually, Colex probably going to have like a full monster army. We can use the Marauders... I mean, we, what we could do is we could keep the Marauders, stick around, level them up, use them as, as like, Chaos Warriors and other armies, right? Just trade them over when Kolek doesn't need them anymore. So we can still, like, level them up, but we just don't need them. Maybe get some Aspiring champion. Problem is, if everyone's a monster in this army, they're always going to be faster than the Aspiring Champions. So, see? Look at the Dragon Ogres waiting. Everyone's waiting for the Dragon Ogres to catch up. Then I un ungroup the army so I don't have to bother waiting. So, I'm, this army's only, well, to be honest, this, this army's probably easier than the last one. Also, I'll never understand why they make the Noblars the general units. This is the general units. You'd think they'd make the Ogres a general unit, but no. No, no, no. They make the Noblars a general unit. Fucking weird. Just odd. Okay, it's got some big fatties fighting some, some trolls. Of course, the Dragon Ogres getting in there as well. Easily ripping through them. The Doggos rushing in to take out a unit of Ogre Bulls. Tearing them apart from all sides. And then Kolek, of course, helping out some trolls take out some ogre balls. No problem. I think Kolek was probably the lord I was most excited to play when War when Total Warhammer came out, because he is such a big boy with a massive fucking hammer. I'm not saying bigger's better, but... Well, it kind of is. Okay, we've got somewhere to live. We're not going to subjugate them. 
I'm going to occupy and vassalize. Because now we've got a home. Oh, home away from home. Uh, first thing, replenishment. Second thing, money. Well, no, not, not replenishment. Recruitment. Recruitment. That's what we're going with. I'm going to go with more fireball. Love great balls of fire. I'm sorry. All right, get more campaign movement range. Oh, he's very, very fucking judgmental. Very judgmental. Okay, so we are great. So we want more drag. We want more dragon ogres, don't we? We want more dragon ogres. That's what we want. How much do the dragon ogres cost us actually? Two hundred and seventy-six. I mean, that is quite expensive. However, I'm going to. I'm going to take it. So we've got some open slots. You know me, love an open slot. And because we are so close to the ogre homelands, I don't think Shatterstone really is going to help us this early on. Missile resistance may not be the worst thing. Um, I'm kind of tempted to go with Furies of Chaos. That could be quite useful. I mean, we don't have many options here. So... I mean, this could be good early on, just for replenishment and melee attack. Okay, we're going to go with that one. I'm tempted to go with another one, but that is going to cost us 50 upkeep a turn. So we're going to have to keep uh, have to keep killing people, aren't we? Now, what do we want to kill? Well, I suppose these guys first, right? Kill these guys. Maybe vassalize the orcs. That could be an option. And then maybe we want to go east. Kill, well, vassalize Zartan, vassalize Village, vassalize everyone, basically. Because the more vassals we have, the hencher we get. That's right, we don't have to go to the fucking gym. We just need to kick the shit out of people. Basically the same thing. Anyway, so we are going to go with... Ooh, uh, no. Uh, I, get, I guess this one's the... Even though it reduces control, but then if... If, if there's any rebellions, we'll just kill them. Let's get scrutiny of the dark gods. Always a good first step. Oh, he started building an outpost. It's yeah, so always lightning with you, isn't it? Oh, we do have a hell cannon. Do I want a hell cannon? Uh, it's quite expensive. It's quite expensive. Uh, why do I have a hell cannon? I'm not complaining. I'm just... I d look, I don't want that. I never look a hell cannon, a gift hell cannon in the mouth. Mostly because it'll probably bite your face off. But also, it's just a little bit suspect, isn't it? I feel like if maybe the Trojans have been a little bit more like, where did this fucking horse come from? Then they might still be alive today. Well, not alive today, but you know what I mean. I just think it's a little bit suspect that it's just turned up. Um, I would like these, but I can't afford them. Ah, oh, rubbish. Well, maybe I can afford them after I kick the shit out of you. Uh, it says me. I guess you've got a lot of... Where did you get gorges from? And iron balls. At this, at this time of day, in this hemisphere? Can I see? I mean, I literally can see. Okay. Ogre camps are terrible to defend, aren't they? Like they're, they're just the worst. And they're, the, they're really bad because they're so fucking windy. They're windy. And not a great place for large units to fight. Which is kind of weird, considering they're a fucking ogre camp. It's just perplex perplexed. I mean, it looks lovely. It looks great. But you know what? They should really just have, like, a, I don't know... A corner in a map somewhere. I don't know, like, take a... Uh, fucking take this, right? Do, do it like a Pharaoh or Troy settlement battle where you've kind of got, you know, a sort of slightly wide front, maybe two entrances, and there's plenty of opportunity for the ogre. But basically make it good defensive positions for the ogres rather than... Because I'm going to be honest, defending an ogre camp is a nightmare, which means it's basically impossible. I mean, the, the ogres, of all the factions, probably are the ones in need of of the biggest updates because all of their mechanics are pretty shockingly awful. Like, 
like, thematically great. Mechanically, terrible. Anywho, so, Kolek and his, uh, his blob, apart from the doggos, who are doing a little side attack, are murdering their way through the front gate. Gorges there, getting absolutely shredded. Did the... Oh, you... I mean, the Dragon Ogres actually have anti-large. I didn't realise that. I've got 26 bonus versus large. <laughs> Who knew? I mean, I would have known had I actually checked. That's fine. Um... But their stats are just good across the board, aren't they? I mean, they're just pretty good. They got miss they got good missile resistance, they cause fear, they got good melee defense, they got reasonable good armor. They're just generally a good monster unit. They're not minus halls, but that's fine. Not everyone can be minus halls. Ogre balls and iron fists are getting uh, destroyed there. We're grabbing the objective, having taken out some noblars. This is throwing the cat amongst the pigeons because the ogres are now having to rush over to defend. I mean, they've got what? One, two, three, five. They got four. Four. four that's not actually entrance. It looks like an entrance. It's not actually an entrance. They got four entrances. I mean, this this here, this looks like a pathway, doesn't it? But it's not. It's not actually a pathway. You can't actually get through there. Um, just. <laughs> Just this entire ogre, guys. Uh, I hate it. The best place for an ogre camp is somewhere where it's never going to get attacked. Which I don't think is the point of ogre camps. But... Just, you don't... Can, can you imagine an entire stack in this ogre camp? It's a... Oh. It's like playing fucking Tetris trying to f work out where all your units are going to go. It's a nightmare. Terrible. Terribly. Just terrible in defence as well. Just the entire thing is just a nightmare. Ogres, ogres want like big open spaces. So they can. It would be better for a, for a, so this to just be open. It'd be, it would make it less annoying. Mostly because you know ogres being large units. If you're fighting something with missile attacks like dark elves or something, they'll just shoot over the fuck. They just shoot you. Right? You can't. It's oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. I think it was one of the first things that when when we got access to the ogres as partners. We were like, oh, the camps are awful to defend. The f one of the first things that someone said was, geez, the camps are terrible. Why why are we doing this? And yeah, it's just that they ne ne never got it changed. Just, just left it. Which is a real shame. See the doggos eating the noblars there. And it is, it is a concern because they don't really go back to DLC races, do they? Like the Chaos Warriors, when did they get their update? Oh yes, game three. Never mind. Collect reducing Noblars to jam. Oh, delicious bursts of raspberry jam there. Or strawberry, depending on your flavor. Personally, I quite like gooseberry jam, but can I get gooseberry jam? Can I box? Well, I just like gooseberries in general. I think gooseberries are the king of fruit, but no one else agrees. Heathens. Okay, our doggo attack has kind of faltered. We kind of we got we got routed by. So I, I I'm fucked up. The the attack on the iron balls over here, the the ogre balls, and uh, my doggo's got routed. It's not the end of the world, to be honest. I'm not super worried about it. Um, so they'll, they'll run away. They'll be fine. They're not demons. They won't disintegrate. I mean, Furies are probably, if anything, slightly better than Doggos at uh, just swooping down. I mean, not better at chasing units down, but better at swooping down and attacking units from the rear. Uh, but the unfortunate thing is, because Furies are so... so fragile, they're kind of like Doggos. Like, imagine if these guys were demonic. They'd all be dead right now. Instead of just running away, and then rallying again. Okay, we're going to send the Marauders to go and grab this objective. Meanwhile, Kolek is going to head for the center, backed up by his monstrous menagerie. There's only two units of ogres left. Yeah, so we've got the ogre balls over here, and we've got Puku, Puku, Puku Pokju. Pokju, the tyrants. Here he comes, lumbering around. Kodak currently grabbing this objective rather quickly. Kodak spots the enemy tyrants. 
and a conflict begins, one which Kolek is probably going to win fairly easily, because he does have that nice bonus first large of 28. Oh yeah, it's actually got a 75% damage multiplier against buildings as well. What buildings can he... I guess he could attack gates. Does he do more damage to gates? I guess, maybe. Oh well. Anyway, the enemy tyrant is slowly dying. And here come the rest of the dragon ogres to smoosh these ogre bulls. It's going to be a very one-sided conflict. And indeed, the enemy army starts to break and run. I'm going to take all the souls. Your soul is mine. Boop. Boop. Oh, they dead. I thought they had more stuff. Oh. Never mind. Right, we're going to get those boys. Uh, no, recruitment terrible. Income from raiding. Who's going to raid? Increase experience fighting against forces of order. I mean... And more souls gained. That is kind of tempting. More souls we have, the better, right? But... But let's be honest. We're here to increase our killing power. Am I at war with you? I am at war with you. Alright, I'm fine. I'll fucking, fucking kill you then. Uh, I wonder if... Yeah, you're, you're I don't think you'll move. You're just recruiting, so I don't think that's going to change anything. Uh, we can hit you next turn, so if we just sort of head in this general direction. We'll hit Blizzard Peak. Uh, might raise that, might... So I, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Either way, we're going to vassalize those fuckers if we can. I can't remember if you can vassalize green skins or not. I think you can. I'm not 100% sure. Question mark. Hello? You're coming for me, are you? Good. Saves me coming for you. So, we've got quite a lot of green skins to kill here. Um, this might work out in our favour because they might want to be vassalised once we've kicked the shit out of them. Although we might have to, you know, smash their last settlement and, and vassalise them that way, but that's fine. I can I can live with that. A little burning head right in the centre there, which is going to swat, kind of swathe through those orc boys and goblins. Kolik getting right in the centre there. There is an enemy giant here, though, and uh, giants do have a lot of melee attack and weapon strength, so uh, that could be quite nasty for Kolik to actually deal with, although, of course, we do have the bonus first large, and uh, the dragon ogres have got bonus first large as well, so I'm not overly concerned about that. First things first, we do need to cut down all of the missile units because, as you can see, they're all focusing fire on Kolek. And he's taking quite a lot of uh, missile damage there. He does have 25% missile resistance, but uh, he's still taking quite a bit of, uh, of arrow fire. So we're going to have to bring in the doggos. Kolek is a wrecking ball, but being so big does, does come with its downsides. So we just need to make sure that none of those archers live. I should get some giants. I'd love a giant. Or the chaos giant. I love giants. Anyone who says that giants are bad, they're wrong. Sorry. It's a skill issue. So we're bludgeoning our way through the enemy army. Although they do have reinforcements incoming. But this is the main force that we are dealing with slaughtering them. We're all over them. The only slight issue might be them like coming back to the fight. The giant is actually getting absolutely mauled here. Um, he is fighting of course the anti-large dragon ogres. So they do have 26 bonus versus large which increases their melee attack and weapon strength by the same which means that he's just surrounded by people currently just wailing on him. slight issue is these guys may return to the fight. Their general is not dead yet. He is proving to be a pain in the ass to kill. 
killing enemy generals early on is is tricky. Come on, kill the giants. Latin, what's uh, what's Kolek managed to do so far? He's got 643 damage deltas gold. It's not bad, is it? Okay, the enemy reinforcements incoming. Yeah, some of those units have rallied. Annoyingly, things like those archers, uh, we're going to have to chase them down. But we do, of course, have the, the Summoners of Rage. And these guys uh, have a, a little spell up there, there, Steve. They have the Chain Lightning spell, which they need to... It starts in cooldown, and you have to like be in melee combat to build up the... They have to build up their battery, so to speak. But once you've done that, they get to use it, and it's quite potent. Especially against large blobs of enemy infantry, you know, like the one that's incoming. The enemy giant is retreating. He got four, he got 43 kills, 704 damage dealt as gold. He did, you know, he dished out some some punishment there. But we are going to chase him down and kill him because he is a quite a large threat. A little fireball from chance. Boop. Right up the jack see, And then Kolek just starts kicking the ever-living shit out of him. Boop. And he's down. I need to pick off the enemy general as well. Here come those reinforcements. Chant getting a little burning head off on them. It's pretty good. They've only, they've, it's a small little force here. It's only a couple of unit melee units, a couple of archers, some trolls. There goes the chain lightning. She's going to... Oh, they're literally just marching into it. Look at them just pop. Look at the jam. Lovely. And then we're just going to charge down the hill straight into them. This engagement should be over quite quickly. Meanwhile, uh, it's kind of a mop-up operation. Kolek manages to kill off the enemy general. He's now got 1,100 damage. That was gold. Not bad this early on. Most units tend to be quite cheap. I don't know where you're going. Are you going for Kolek? That's a mistake. Yeah, you just see him coming over the hill. And you're like, nope, actually, I've changed my mind. I choose life. Kind of understandable, really. Ah, a glorious slaughter. Yeah, you better run. Plus I get to replenish. Voice. And we've unlocked a thingy majig. Oh shall we go? Oh that's that is it. I was, I was like looking at metal, it is inch. Uh we could do could do law of zinch. It is pretty good. I do quite like metal though. How many souls is it? How many souls do we have? 2,300. It's quite expensive. I might hold off for a minute. The gods. The mountains call. I'm tempted to do this for the extra souls. And we're not fighting the order forces yet, but, you know, we will eventually. Still, still, still dubious about the hell cannon. Uh, we'll grab those boys. Can I vassalize you? I can vassalize you, but you don't want to become a vassal. Yet. Yet. What about if we kill you all? How about that? Well, at that point, we used to feel a little bit more predisposed to becoming my little... My little sausage. Um, oh, really? You're going to kill all of those guys? Okay, well, I'm going to fight this one then, even though I don't want to. I don't know what Resolve is smoking. But I could use some.
as we just let just send in the boys basically i haven't even brought the doggos along for the ride just send Kerelek in send in the shack i mean the, the, the dragon ogres eventually i'll send in the forsaken and the marauders if they reach the battle in time with that burning head now carving its way through the enemy infantry and doing very little damage to us because we're all large entities and and there we go the enemy army breaks and uh, and runs which is yep good okay did we lose anyone i i don't think we did no Well, there we go, Auto Resolve. As you can see, um, no doggos dead. No, no. You see how that worked? Christ, you are, you are more eager to put down my doggos than Petter. Fuck me. Um, right, I'm going to... I'm going to occupy that because I might give it back to the Greenskins once I've fucked them up. Hello? Don't like chaos, but speak anyway. I'm scared of you lot. Well, you should be. Are you at war with anyone else? I don't want anyone else coming to kill you. Well, I'm going to come and kill you. Okay, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to stick with this so we can get more. So I think souls is uh, is the name of the game. Do you know what? I'm going to grab some of these guys as well because those flappy boys are legitimately pretty good. I just don't think it, look, I, I, lots of people are going to be grumpy at me because I didn't pick up the hell cannon. But you know what? What for? What's it good for? Right? My my entire my entire strategy is charge the enemy, kick them to shit. That's I don't. Wh where's the artillery fitting in? And that I don't need it. It's uh, it's not really. If anything, it's probably just going to hit hit me, isn't it? You think about it. Uh, I'm going to go with. Uh, let's go cool down spells. Something like something like that. I don't really want this, but you know, I've got it now. So um, could get extra replenishment. Could be. I quite like the doggos. The marauders. I can. I can take them or leave them. To be honest. But the doggos. Yes. Good doggos. Right. Good. So we're just gonna go. We're gonna hit ice spewer. With any luck, vassalize the greenskins. And then, well, the world is our oyster. Where do we go next? To be honest, I would like another Dark Fortress. So potentially, like over here, maybe, the Volary beat up Zartan, take his shit. I mean, maybe Grimgore? We, we beat... How many settlements does Grimgore have? He's only got two. If we kick him if we kick him in the nuts enough and take his last settlement, he might... We could potentially vassalize him. Think about it. Get Grimgore as a vassal. That could be quite fun. Let's see if we can do that. But that is going to have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.